Hey writer friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Holly. I'm a writer aspiring to be a published author. And in today's video, I will be doing a holiday gift guide. So this gift guide is good for both readers and writers alike. I had wanted to do this at the end of Christmas last year and was like, I can't do it. Or maybe I had thought of the idea but didn't have enough time to come up with all of the gifts. So this year I am ready, I am prepared to share all of my goodies with you guys that I think would make great presents for readers and writers. So the first gift that I will be sharing with you is a book bone and I got this maybe two years ago and it has been a godsend but I'll show you here. It's like rubber I think and there's like kind of two weights on the end and it's like really flimsy. It's kind of fun to play with actually um, but I will share let's see oh I've got Pearl's number right here so I will share uh, show you guys how it works um, but really it's kind of like a page holder and it just really helps save your hands from having to hold the book up and that can get pretty annoying and you know hurt your wrist can start to hurt so this is kind of a lifesaver but all you do is just kind of lay it on the page and it just holds it open for you and it's really easy to just kind of take it off and then just flip the page and then put it back on again sometimes like I'll like when I'm reading I'll put it at the you know bottom while I'm reading the top and then I'll move it to the top when I get to the bottom. So there's kind of like a little trial and error of like how you want to um, place it. And also you can put it on just one side and then lay it on a table and then it will be, you know, holding the page down that way. So there is a paperback and then the next book I got here is Vengeful. So that's what we're going with. Uh, you can see my TBR is ever growing, but um, and here's Vengeful. Oops, I can't see, look at any of these because I haven't read any of these yet. And then here's the hardcover. So it works really, really well. I love this guy to death. The other thing about it too is that it's really easy for me to slip into the next product that I will show you. By the way, I forgot to mention that all of these products will be linked down below. If there isn't the exact item, then I will try to find ones that are similar. So the next product that I have for you is the book bow and this is a sleeve that is very soft and cushiony that you can put your book in to protect it and keep it safe. Now I forget where I saw this probably on Instagram last year and I bought this smaller one I think this is called like the indie size but it has and I don't know if they've changed the um design but it has a little like button here that I can just like take off and the cool thing about this is that I actually have two books in here so you know they have all of the size dimensions um, on their website but yeah so I was able to fit in two books in here I have like Shizuko's Daughter which is a book I got from my sister's mother-in-law that I started and was good but it's like from 1993 and I was like oh lord I'm reading this like yellow page book but it's really good so far and then I also have uh, Activating Happiness, Jumpstart to Overcoming Low Motivation. So yeah, even though, so I could fit, you know, just one of those books in here, but it's cool to know that like you can fit a little bit extra in if you want. And then I also have the next biggest one. I don't think this is the Jumbo because the Jumbo I think has a zipper. So mine doesn't have a zipper, but this guy is the Chunker and it fits books as big as Oh look, one of my favorite books, A Conjuring of Light. Um, let's see, I've got another chunker here, so let's see if it'll fit Obsidio. It better, because I brought it with me on vacation. <laughs> yes, it just fits Obsidio. So it fits some pretty big books. Now I know there, there are some books bigger than that, so the Jumbo one would be ideal for that. So. The reason why I mentioned this after the book bone is because it also will give me room when I have the book in here that I can just slide my book bone like right on the side and it fits it. So I love these guys so much. There are so many cool patterns and designs and this one like I saw don't let the hard days win. I was like I kind of need that in my life. I need this inspiration. So go check them out. I actually had a real life experience with needing these because I had 
put this in a bag with my water bottle that actually started leaking and like everything in my bag got wet and like a little corner of my book bow had gotten wet and I was like oh my god I think I was reading Twisted Gift at the time and so I pulled Twisted Gift out and it was dry so these guys are really a lifesaver and I know like I've put books in my bag before and then like maybe I've forgotten and have thrown something else in there and then it'll like get the pages all bent and I'm like, oh crap. So yeah, these guys are lifesavers. The next gift I wanna share with you guys is something that some people may not realize can actually be a gift and that is subscription boxes. So I kind of go on and off with subscribing to boxes based on like my budget and everything, but I, in the past I have been subscribed to the Bookie box and I just adored that box. And then also the Scribbler box has so many great items for writers and there's like special chats with editors and things like that. It's really just a fun box. So one of the books that I got from the Bookie box was Wonder Woman Warbringer, which was really cool. And then one from Scribbler was contagion um, so yeah so I just love all of the little goodies that they have and it's just like a fun treat to get that in the mail and be like oh I wonder what's in here I wonder what the book is all of the bookish goodies so and there are so many other subscription boxes out there so I'm not sure if all the subscription boxes have this feature but I know at least scribbler and the bookie box does is where you can buy like either a gift card or you can buy the box for someone else as a gift so that's a great idea you don't have to just get that book book box for yourself especially for people who like want to get that gift but they can't afford it this is a great gift for them hey guys this is holly from the future i am hopping on here to add in another gift that i completely forgot about but when i was taking a shower this morning i actually used this gift and was like oh my gosh i need to put this in my gift guide i'm so glad i didn't put it up yet so that is actually these aqua notes so that's what they look like here and they have these little suction pads and they're like waterproof notepads. So the paper is like, it's like not like the kind of paper where it'll just like fall off and disintegrate in the water. And then it also comes with this pencil that says no more great ideas down the drain. And that has a little suction cup as well. So what you can do when you're in the shower or taking a bath, you can have this in your bathtub and stick it on the wall. This was a lifesaver for me this morning because I was listening to a song and then this inspiration for just a scene and something that's gonna happen in uh, future books in the Celestial Code series. Um, I was like, oh my gosh, like I don't wanna forget this. Like, because you know, I'm like in the middle of showering. So I just pulled this out and wrote it down really quick and you can, you know, cut it off or they have a little like perforated edge, which can be a little bit hard to take off sometimes. Um, but this was a lifesaver for me. So instead of, instead, like before this, I was just like repeating the same thing over and over again in my head, the whole shower so that I wouldn't forget it. And that's like totally a bummer. So yeah, guys, get your aqua notes. These are amazing. Gift number four is a planner. And not just any planner, but the deluxe planner. So this is the planner that I use and I have shared this on my Instagram before, but it's a goal without a plan, it's just a wish. And I had seen that and was like immediately drawn to this, but it is the deluxe brand. I also have this other one here, um, cause I bought like four or five of them. Like I bought this one and then I started using it and was like, I want more of these. I don't want these to run out. And so I bought like, yeah, three or four. Um, but it says a uh, deluxe planner collection, creative planner. I will try to link this down below. I found this at family dollar. I don't know if that is everywhere in the U S. Um, and I don't know if this can be bought online, but I will at least describe and show you some of the pictures. So you can maybe try to find ones that are similar. If I'm not able to find this exact one for you guys. Let me get all up close and personal here so I could show you why I love this planner so much. Besides the fact that this thing is like hella affordable, I think it was, it, it wasn't more than $5, um, is there's a little um, pocket on the side here for to put loose things. I put like stickers and um, any papers. And then this, this is why I like this. I'm like, this feels like it was made for writers, but there's like special dates and then monthly goals before the month, which is super cool because I'm like, yeah, you know, people might not think about like planning things out like that. 
Um, and then they have a whole month calendar you can fill in. You can do it on your own. And then they have a goals and to-do list. Okay, making sure that you can see it. Um, and then here's the part that I really like, the spread, the weekly spread. So it has the um, days of the week. And then on this side here is a little part for notes. So um, here's usually what I'll put anything that I don't have you know, specifically planned out for a day. Like I want to get it done, but I don't know what day. And then here I'll, in the notes, I'll usually put like a sticker, like one or two stickers that are kind of like the theme that I want for that week. If I was feeling really anxious the week before or overwhelmed, then I'll try to find a sticker that kind of calms me down, brings me back in the moment. Um, if I've got a lot of family things going on, then I put like stickers about love and, and you know, yeah, enjoying the moment, things like that. Um, and then this is the part that I have just been using nonstop. Doesn't mean I'm Xing things off, but I'm at least having it down, is this daily routine section. So it's actually like a um, habit tracker. And there's like seven, yeah, there's about like seven different things all through Monday through um, Sunday. And so, you know, I just put like, you know, wake up without a snooze, edit, read, get my 10,000 steps, work out, meditate, things like that. And so then I can check it off. And so I can just kind of like see that all and it's already there. I don't have to like make it up. Like I know I would like love to do like the Bujo thing, but I just don't have the time. Um, and then the other thing I like about this planner is actually in the back. And I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even know this was here. So I'm glad I stumbled on it. Um, so I still need to fill that out for my planner that I'm using is these project sections. But yeah, so this journal is just so comprehensive. The journal, this planner is just so comprehensive. And the other thing I like is that you can begin, it even says it on the front, you can begin at any month of the year because it doesn't start at um, January. It's blank. And then the days here are all blank at the top, those boxes. So you can just start whenever you want. So that's what I did. I had bought it maybe in like August. And yeah, I just like bought all of these. So I really, really hope that I'll be able to find this for you guys because it has been amazing for me. And last but certainly not least are stickers. <laughs> like I said, in that planner, I have those kind of theme words that I want to focus on and just kind of decorate the page to make it seem, you know, enjoyable to read and use. So, um, my sister had gotten me these stickers so you can find them, you know, pretty much anywhere. But this one that I really like is create 365, the happy planner. As you can see, all the ones on the front are gone here. Let me show you. Um, a couple of these everyday memories, life happens, plan on it, what you create does not have to be perfect. So there's a lot of great quotes here. And then this other one has a whole bunch of little ones. So there's like um, just a whole bunch of stickers that um, you can use to decorate it. These are the ones where I kind of get little um, words and phrases for each specific day, like perfect, explore, if I'm doing something fun, um, live, laugh, love, if I'm, if I'm hanging out with friends. Um, yeah, it's just, it's so much fun. So that's one part of the stickers. And then the other part is actually for, you know, accomplishing your goals. So it's that habit tracker essentially, but you can use it specifically for your writing. So I got this one from the Scribbler box, but it's a word count typewriter. And so you can just write in your word count and then put that on the day of your planner or your calendar that you met that. And then I also had found these actually from a garage sale. I think the lady was like a teacher or something, but it just says like, job well done. But there's like a little space if you see the ribbon. Once I've completed editing a chapter, then I will write that chapter number and then stick it on the page. So just any stickers that you can find that you know, will motivate you and give you a little bit of like, yay, you did it. All right, you guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you found these goodies helpful. Please let me know in the comments down below if you have any of these special goodies and any gifts that you think you would like to buy for readers and writers. Please give this video a thumbs up to support my channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye.
please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my, oh, what? I will see you in my next video. What do I, what do I say? What's my outro?